Taiwan has seen unprecedented support from Japan lately. They've donated nearly 2.4 million AstraZeneca vaccines to Taiwan, and their deputy prime minister, Taro Aso, said on Monday that Japan should join the U.S. in defending Taiwan in the case of a Chinese attack. And last week, Japan's deputy defense minister made similar remarks. But can Japan help deter China from attacking Taiwan? Well, I spoke with a top defense expert at Danjiang University's Graduate Institute of International Affairs and Strategic Studies, Professor Alexander Huang, and asked him why Japan's officials are talking about defending Taiwan. I think、uh, Japan has always maintained a quite focused on、uh, the situation surrounding Taiwan, because Taiwan is in the way. Of all Japan's、uh, sea lines of communication, for Japan's、uh, maritime-based imports,、uh, the reason、uh, more assertive actions by the People's Liberation Army of the People's Republic had、uh, raised the eyebrow and alert in Japan that、uh, that China might、uh, take military actions against Taiwan, and that will definitely disturb. Japan's、uh, economic supply line, but for his remarks on defending Taiwan, I would rather look at it from the angle uh, that uh, Japan uh, urged the United States would focus more on Taiwan and、uh, and would help Taiwan to defend itself.、Um, I do not believe that、um, that remark. Uh, would imply that Japan will use、uh, its self-defense force、uh, to be involved in any military conflict across the Taiwan Strait. There are some news reports saying that、um, you know a, a Chinese attack Taiwan would be a threat to Japan's security as well. So they could consider using their military forces to get involved. You don't think that's the case? Of course,、uh, invasion on Taiwan by China would definitely threaten the Japanese national security as well as its sea lines of communication. But that does not,、uh, you know, necessarily、uh, involve J- Japanese force in the direct exchange of fire、mm. uh, with the、uh, Chinese armed forces. Uh, the reason why is that Japan has a very conservative past, and、uh, the political and social uh, fabric uh, has not come to the stage to support a Japanese offensive actions outside of Japan.、Uh, for that particular reason, that uh, the uh, Japanese, after many years of efforts by former Minister Shinzo Abe. That Japan can only participate under the name of security alliance to provide American forces, logistic, and other intelligence information support, but not necessarily get involved in war fighting. Do you think that the U.S. and Japan coming together in this way will be a greater deterrent、uh, for Beijing to not attack Taiwan? The short answer is no. No. <laughs>、um, um, I do not believe that Beijing would be deterred、uh, by the language that、uh, from a deputy minister of defense in Japan. I would say that、um, these kind of、uh, verbal expression would、uh, give a high alert、uh, to the people and、uh, and、uh, war planners. In Beijing, and、uh, would probably prompt uh, even uh, a higher uh, nationalism within China.、Uh, it may not bring anything good、uh, to the situation that has been already very tense、uh, in the Taiwan Strait.、Uh, it might show some kind of policy direction, but it may not be helpful、uh, for. Uh, the security and the stability in the region. Personally, I would say that、uh, that if Japan、uh, can do more and speak less 
uh, that would be much better. So I'm also curious, um, what do you think of Xi Jinping's remarks on the 100th anniversary of the you know, Chinese Communist Party? Do they seem more belligerent? Um, what can you infer from his remarks about Taiwan and also um, not being bullied or, or oppressed by uh, foreigners? You know, if we compare his speech to the uh, general secretary of the former Soviet Union Communist Party, I would say Xi Jinping had been very polite. He <laughs> spoke for really? only 72 minutes. <laughs> but the theme of his speech on July 1, in the occasion of the centennial of the Chinese Communist Party, the theme is targeting a domestic audience. Mm. Uh, it's to celebrate their own party birthday. Uh, it was not a foreign policy speech, and it was not a Taiwan policy speech. We need to remember that there will be a Winter Olympics in February next year, and Xi Jinping will try to uh, get uh, reselected uh, in the 20th Party's Congress in the fall next year. So China has uh, many things at stake, and their plate is pretty much full as well. So I do not believe that Xi Jinping in any way in the July 1 speech uh, tried to hint that, um, that China is ready uh, to fight a war against uh, any foreign power. We also talk about if he thinks the U.S. will help defend Taiwan and much more in the interview. The whole interview will be up on Facebook and YouTube.